In a ruling that shocked prosecutors, lawyers of the victims, human rights groups and politicians, Naivasha Chief Magistrate Kennedy Bidali on Monday set all the nine suspects free, saying prosecutors had failed to show a willingness to prosecute the matter. The magistrate further dismissed a petition by the Kenya Human Rights Commission seeking to be enjoined in the case. Bidali noted that the ruling which freed the suspects had covered the issues of the petition, noting that in the past, victims had sworn an affidavit against being represented in the court. The magistrate, however, declined to issue orders by the defense, seeking to have sureties of the suspects discharged and their bond terms ejected, saying that this would be handled by the upper court. In the case, Perry Manusu Kanasagara, the farm owner, and the others were charged with 48 counts of manslaughter on 9th of May 2018 in Solai, Nakuru, as well as failing to prepare an environmental impact assessment report. The other eight are Vinod Jaya Kumar, Johnson Njuguna, Luca Kipiagen, Winnie Mothoni, Jacinta Were, Tomkin Odo Othiambo, Willie Omondi, and Lynette Cheriot. <laughs> State Counsel Alexander Muteti said that they had already gone to the High Court to seek the revision of the case, which has been going on for the last 18 months. We have served our application for revision against all the accused persons. Each one of them has a copy, and among the issues we'll be raising, it will be unfair for me now to go into the merits. He said that they would be seeking orders to stop the ruling by the magistrate and for the case to proceed to its logical conclusion. The victims of the tragedy, besides filing an application seeking a revision of the case, said they would lodge a complaint to the Judicial Service Commission over the conduct of the judge. The victims were not given an opportunity to present their case despite having requested the court. Two. The matter has been heard and conclusively determined following the Surai Dam tragedy on Wednesday 9th May 2018 which caused displacement, water and destruction of property. An accused person can be acquitted where there is no case to answer. In the instant case, the hearing had not started and the victims had not presented their witnesses. Thus, the ground given by the mag magistrate was illegal. Lawyers of the victims also said they will next week seek a review of the ruling, which they described as a travesty of justice. 48 people were killed in the May 9, 2018 tragedy and hundreds displaced by raging waters from the dam. In the aftermath of the tragedy, several cases were filed in various courts, among them criminal proceedings against the dam owners and officials from Water Resource Management Authority and NEMA. Diana Rachel Mbogwa, Ibrutivi. <laughs>